Hello, uh, switching nerds and nerdellas. Uh, before we get into the control switching video and also the control, external control in, uh, this is the little warning. We were utterly confused in these videos and possibly uh, gave you a little bit of wrong information. Uh, when we get to it, just know that we are as confused as you are because this thing is so technical and so technically uh, described. I just went through the manual for like an hour and a half after we did these videos to find out what in the world did we do. In the control page on play option, where it says latch, pulse and inverse, I assumed inverse is reversing the polarity, which it is not. It is simply reversing the polarity of the pulse. So long pulse, uh, short pulse, short pulse, and in between long ones, or when you inverse it, um, uh, long pulse and then short one, uh, something like this. So it's just in inversing the polarity. It's, it is inversing the pulse, not inversing the polarity of the switch. Therefore, when the switch, uh, uh, like when your light is on and your the wrong light's on on the on the amp, you can't do anything with that. That you have to figure out a different way. I think you do that with the min max setting. Whereas I don't quite know exactly what the min max setting does. As you can see, this is complicated. So uh, take these videos, this the, the control videos, as a uh, a study in how to figure it out and then be utterly confused. I wouldn't necessarily see it as a tutorial. If we really know what we're doing, we might do another tutorial. It, it helps you a little bit. It shows you a couple of issues. Um, but just join us, have a coffee. If you really want to know exactly how to do this in three or four minutes, find another video because we couldn't figure it out in three or four minutes. Okay, enjoy. You say what's up. Um, we're filming the next video. Now you say, you, know, you say, know. hello, pedal nerds and nerdines, so go. Hello, pedal nerds and nerdines, nerdellas and nerdettes. To be absolutely politically correct, um, we're filming again. And he's supposed to say something when he's drinking coffee. <sighs> Dadari. Actually, what the fuck? Look at this. <laughs> that's freaking awesome because that's the base Dadario logo. I'll be right back because it's funny. You don't know why, why I'm running away, but uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see that. He'll be back soon, I think. I hope, because I'm not going to do this on my own. Nice. So, uh, so yeah, um, that's funny because, you know, Dadario, but it's not Dadario. It's actually just four red lines. But the Dadario logo is six red lines for six strings. Yeah, I know things. And um, I don't know. Why are we talking about Dadari? I don't know. Uh, weird, actually. Um, uh, we're not in any way affiliated with Dario, are we? No, never. We also no. never wear anything, you know, concerning Dario or something. That's okay. just nonsense. What's all this stuff here? I have no clue. What on earth? I don't know. Where, where did that come from? I don't from? know. It's, it's all over the place. Seriously. Someone, just someone here. just put all this trash here. It just appeared. We would never put that there. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay, so much for the promotional consideration portion of our video. Um, which is going to be long anyway, so what the fuck. I mean, what the... something. Um, okay, so here we go, and we're going to talk about control outs. Are you excited, Kiana? I'm super psyched about this. Not. Yeah, what else would I want to do on a Saturday evening? After having partied at the goth club till three at night. I would never do that. I'm responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and um, so calling it control out CTL. Is it CTL that they're calling that? Wait. Yeah, I think so. CTL. Um, some other looper switches are calling it triggers. So all you have to know is, could be called remote switching. A switch, a trigger, a clicky thing. That's usually the term used for it. Or a CTL control. This is what we're dealing with here. Here we're dealing with 
the ES8 sending control signals to certain devices and how to set that up. It's gonna get complicated. And uh, then we, in the next video, uh, Kiana all by herself will show you how, or with some of my help, will show you how to use something like this nice Mesa Engineering channel and EQ switch to completely use it for something else, or this Boss FS7 to have an external switch trigger clicky thing going into it to control something either in it or external. So pretty much just replacing one of the built-in switches or adding on to the built-in switches with a not-so-built-in built-off switch. That sounded so professional right now. Because that's how I am. So, um... Whoa. <laughs> We've just played with this for an hour. What do you have to say on the subject of control out? What's the first thing that comes to mind? They control something. Is it easy to set up? No. There you go. So, we're gonna do the easiest thing we can possibly set up, which is switching this PRS SE20 amp, which has two things it can switch, for which like Harry Potter, which get it? Or like her on the couch back there, you know, like which red hair, which? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it has a foot switch, which foot switch input in the back for a cable that looks like so, which is what do we call this? A stereo cable. Uh, yes. Oh, oh uh, um, wait. T R S. Which stands for tip. Uh, ring and sleeve. Yes. So when we say just the tip, that's not what that means. Um, anyway, that was so incorrect to do. I'm sorry. Mm. So this stereo cable or tip ring sleeve cable goes into the foot switch input for a foot switch input that has a dual function. That's why stereo. Now, if you have a foot switch input that has a single function, like uh, on the Joyo Mjolnir, for example, or uh, many other amps, I know that Mesa amps, uh, like the Road King, has a lot of inputs on the back, like I think six or something, or maybe eight, for channel one, channel two, channel boost, uh, effects loop on off. So if you have an, a mono input, you can insert a stereo cable, but you're going to lose one of the control functions on the ES8 because you're only using, you know, one of the two. So a good way to not waste one of the uh, trigger outs is to use an insert cable, which means on one, one, on one end we have tip ring sleeve and on the other side we have two mono cables. So if you have two mono inputs on your amp, you can plug the stereo into the ES8 and these two mono into the amp. So, so much clear? Or, Joey Mjolnir put in one of these and then you can still use the other one in a different area, a different amp, a different device. So, for trigger functions, she's just drinking coffee, these insert cables can be very handy and you don't have to buy high quality ones. Why? Um, because you don't need to spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, of course. Um, no, you do that because uh, it's a switch signal. You're not hearing it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like protecting the quality of your guitar signal that you hear. Ah, okay. It's just sending pretty much an on and off. I mean, a crappy cable will be absolutely, as long as it doesn't break. So uh, for your uh, switch or trigger cables, any cheap cable will do. So, we have this going into the foot switch input on this amp, which is a stereo input. I'm, just, I'm talking very slowly here because this is an issue that I have answered in the last three years a million times. So I'm trying to be slow. Also for your sake, you know. I hope I'm in the right hole. That's yes. what he said, right? <laughs> right? That's what you wanted me I'm to not say. Going, I'm not going there. That's this is, you, you are not of age. That's what you wanted me to say. No, I, yes. I'm not saying that. Well, 
Mm. So, lots of coffee drinking here. Mm. Um, I got up at 4.30, did three videos this morning. You were partying out. So, no, I was sleeping at that time. Oh, by the way, someone asked if you're my girlfriend. No, she is not. <laughs> what? Because I could very clearly be her dad and then some. That I know I don't look like it. I, I really, I, I mean, hello. No, I just look older than I actually am. Yeah, whatever. I look young. Shut up. So, um, we have wired right here, if you can see this, uh, in control one and two is in the amp. Now, I'm not sure what one and two is. What we can switch is the uh, amp channels. Blue is clean. Uh, red is distorted. And you can switch the reverb on and off. There's no visual feedback, so we simply have to hear. So we've wired this. Then also, in control out five and six, we decided not to use three and four, because on three and four, if you can check this out, we have to actually skip back and forth between two different screens, which is a pain in the ass. Oh, we have reflections here. Why didn't you tell me that we have reflections? I was just going to tell you that we have reflections, but you were still talking, and you don't like to be interrupted. How about you shut your pile? What? Okay. Show respect for your elders. Elderberries. Elder, what are, what are elderberries? I don't know. Mm, not allowed Monty, to talk. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> so uh, we went for control one and two and five and six. So one and two is the amp. Five and six is wired over here. Elderberries is Holunda. I just had to say that. Okay, I'm thank sorry. you. Holunda, <laughs> fine. Thank you. Um, the Descent has a remote input. So the Walrus Audio advertising Descent has a remote input and they actually sell you a pedal just like this that simply says Walrus Audio on it and not Mesa. I think it's pretty much the same pedal with a TRS output that can pretty much replace these two switches. And as you can see, because it's plugged into the remote input, these switches have no function. Now we're going to get to this in a second. I'm just going to tell you the left... the <laughs> what? Oh, you want me to say the right? The right? The right? What does that do? It, it sends a signal. No, that's the no. bypass switch. It turns no. the damn pedal on and off. And the left switch uh, cycles through three presets. Not two, three. You have to do two. Not that, that. Which is a big problem. We're going to find out. So, but first, the easy thing. We are on the main page. This has been completely reset. We plugged in our stereo cable into the Porridge with SE20 in the foot switch input. And pretty much what, what you would do is go ahead and navigate to the control page. Yep. And just change control one and see what happens. That was you, not control. You were on three there. Am I on one now? Yes. So, yeah, the amp channel switched. Um, I'm out of the picture. That's okay. It's amp fine. <laughs> the amp channel switched. I was going to say, you whore. But I say that to Leslie in, in a very loving way. So, I mean, you nice lady. The amp channel switched. <laughs> we just, you know, Leslie and I, we have a special relationship when it comes to that. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, one will switch your amp channel, and two, which you can't hear right now, but we can hear some clicking in there, will switch the reverb. So if on preset one we go onto one, then we have the uh, distorted channel. We're just going to save that. And on two, we're going to go off, which means clean channel. Uh, oops. You're on three. And reverb, let's say on. I'm just going to say on. We'll find out. Let's test this. With an Ibanez RG721 dash NTF. Reverb is on. On the almost clean sound. off on the distorted sound. Super easy. Ah. 
Ah! It has two master volumes. What do I know about this amp? It's, I haven't played it. Easy enough, right? So, that is how you could program it to be part of your patch. P, -p, 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 -p. P words, right? Yes, part of your patch. Now let's imagine, let's go to number three and we're going to build a patch. And we're going to build this with some effects. So we're going to do the Archer. Is that on? Yes. Which is one, two. We're going to enter the Archer. No, we're going to plus the Archer. Archer is on. And digital... Di Let's just say the archer is on, nothing else. I don't want anything in front of the amp right now. So on patch number three, the archer is on. We're going to save that. And now I want control while I'm on patch number three over my amp channels on a separate foot switch. Can you follow me on this one? Mm, I think so. Okay, so you pick a foot switch. Pick a crazy one. Crazy one? Pick a crazy one. Like really nuts? Nuts. Nuts. I can just pick any. Then I want the six. <laughs> yeah, I want a crazier one, one that you wouldn't expect. The two. <laughs> See, it's so unexpected that even you don't expect the one I mean. Okay. The seven. Think further. Eight. Think further. The bank up. Now we're talking. Because bank up, bank down, mute, and memory manual can be used for anything. It's crazy. <gasps> yes, it is. So this thing is, that's, that's why it's crazy. So we're going to use the bank up switch, which while on preset number three, we don't use to go bank up. So, you know, in your gig, you're playing la 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 And while you're on preset three, you're absolutely 100% certain that you're not going to switch banks. So why would you need a bank up switch? For what we want to do now. So you can misuse it for something else because you know in that situation, you're not going to use your bank up switch. So we're going to do the following. We're going to go to edit. Uh, not patch. So in patch, you could also go instead of loop on off, instead of the loop structure, you can go to the uh, control switches and, pre and program it there just like we did on the front panel with the display uh, function so we haven't really explained what we were doing there we were kind of we just did it so you can go into the edit mode navigate onto patch and go to the controls or you just while you're in the main menu hit display a couple of times till you see control then you can edit there and save but we want deeper editing which means we're gonna go into edit mode and go to control expression you hit enter i'm starting to talk very quietly and very very slowly so the first thing we want to do is we want to take the bank up function away from the bank up switch do you know how to do this um, um find the bank up switch find it where's the bank up switch where's it where's it no 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 this isn't working no. out other way. Here's the bank up switch. Okay, enter. And now it says the function of the bank up switch is bank up. Which we don't want. Nope. Off. Okay. Now it's off. We're going to go exit. Now we're going to go to past all these switches and ex. We're going to go. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to go to assign one. Hit enter. And this is what it's going to look like. So we want it to be a switch. So I'm going to go on. The source will be, well, I guess bank up, right? Makes perfect sense. Yes, the source is bank up. I want it to switch between two states. So not a momentary while I'm holding on. No, I want it to be a switch. So I go to toggle. It can either be momentary or toggle. The Kate. Who's Kate? Category. Stu 
hope it. KTG, maybe, maybe Cat. But no, it's category. Yeah, but Kate? Kate. Yeah. Who came up with Kate? Category? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Stupid! <laughs> so, category, what we want to change is... A loop? No. No, we want it to be something else. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we want it to be... To, yeah. External control. And luckily, we want it to be control one. If it was control two, we switch the reverb. Okay? So we want it to be control one. I get a bing here. Huh. Um, okay, so technically, that's it. Right, right, right. Now let's check this. While we're on number two, bank up will do... Oh, bank up. While we're on three, which is where we programmed the bank up to be something else... It's doing exactly what we want it to do. It's switching the channels. Problem is, are we getting a visual feedback here? No. Do we want a visual feedback yes, there? Yes, please. You can see that right now control on off is doing its job. So. Your timer didn't really work out. Hey Siri. Timer, 20 Minuten. Um, okay, control one, on, off. Now, how do I assign an LED that I get visual feedback over my control state? We can program that on here. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, little lady. Okay, um, okay. do I do that? On, no. I go on... Edit? And then... Yep. Enter. Oh. Oops. Then I go to... We've already assigned one. Assign one? No, 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 no. Go oh, back. No. Go back. Stay on assign... Oh. Yeah. Assign That's one fine. was that bank up is now a toggle for control out one. Can you follow me what I just said? Yeah. On assign one, yeah. we've assigned for preset number three that our bank up switch is a toggle for control out one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. That's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to. Um, um, now let's do assign two because we want another function there. So we go to assign two. Yep, and enter. We go back. So switch on off. Okay. Source. What switch is it? Bank. Oh. Yep. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> One more. Okay. Okay. The mode is toggle. Yeah. Then category. Category. We don't want loop. We want. Am I doing this right? Yeah. LED. LED. Now target. That's important. We could. Turn on any of the LEDs we want while hitting the bank up switch. So you can say, I hit bank up, but the LED on bank down goes on and off. But because that's stupid, we're not going to do that. <laughs> but you could. If you wanted to. But you could. Yeah, but you really shouldn't. But you could. that's stupid. But yeah, you could. If you want to. I mean, whatever rocks your boat. But we're going to do it on the bank up switch. <laughs> and then do that. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. and right, or do mm -hmm. we have to do some? Okay. So now let's see. On three, we hit bank up, and we have an LED, which is great. This table is rocking. But I have no light when I'm on the red channel, if you can see that right here, and I have a red light when I'm on the blue channel, and I don't like that because that messes with my head. It's very confusing. So how do you fix that? We invert this. 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 Where do you invert it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, okay, edit. No. Yes. 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 Okay. And this is a global parameter, so you do this for the control out for the whole board. So it's not like per preset. All right, then. Enter. Nope. No. Yes. Play option, you go to play option, and there you can see 
whether these switches are latch, meaning stomp on it and stay. PLS, which, which is not, it's not PMS, it's PLS. It means pulse. Pulse, so it's sending a short pulse. Inverted, or three different kinds of tap, where it's simply sending tap signals for a tap tempo, an analog temp, tap, 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 tap. Tap tempo. Thank you. Um, which we're going to get to in a later video. I'm sorry about that, that we have to do more videos. And you have to sit through them. You really don't have to. These are very unprofessional. You totally want to. These are totally what? unprofessional, these videos. You know that? Um, yes, I realized I'm not a professional and I know nothing about... I knew nothing about this. Now I'm very smart. But yeah, they are very unprofessional. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> you know, if you can figure it out by yourself, please do. Because <laughs> that would you, save you us... You really don't want to <laughs> waste would, your time. <laughs> that would really save us so much time. Yeah. Um, so, we want to switch this from... Latvia, uh, first you have to hit enter, to not pulse, to invert. Now control one is inverted, which means we're on red, we're on red, save, save, save. And now red means red and nothing means um, um, Hey, this worked before. Yeah, you did something wrong. <laughs> no, it didn't. It worked before. It, it, did, it, it really did work. Yes. But I don't know what happened. He doesn't know either. So professional. It worked before. I can guarantee you that it worked before. It really did. We did exactly that. Yes. This is very sad because we didn't really do anything different than before. This thing is so confusing. Didn't we do exactly that? Yes. Yes, I believe we did. We inverted it and it was working just fine. Fine, just fine. Mm, this is so frustrating. So we're going to be here with you figuring out what in the hell went wrong. Mm. What in the hell? What in hell? I don't know. Who cares? What in the world you would actually say. Yeah. I don't think you use that with hell. Why is it switching back? <laughs> And I'm gonna go exit out of here. Control one inverted. Assign two. LED bank up. No, we want to go to assign one, enter. Control one. What if I just switch that did I just switch that around? Min max? I don't know. I'm just trying things here. I want to see if that actually changed something. It worked with the invert. It did. It did. It really did. I guarantee you that it worked. I think if they don't believe you, they won't believe you if you say it, you know, three more times. Ah, this is the way to invert it. I'm sorry, boss. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous, and why can't you just make a thing that says invert light? In the light. We did it the other way. I guarantee you we did it the other way. Please tell them again. We did it the other way. Yes. Oh, this is frustrating. I'm sorry. So, here's what I did. Min max. What? Stupid. So counterintuitive. You go to a control expression to assign one where we said that the bank up switch is a toggle that switches the external control one. But instead of on the last page having minimum off and maximum on. Actually, you did change that the last time. No. Yes. Most certainly not. I thought you did. I definitely didn't. Okay, then I'm wrong. <laughs> so now I switched minimum to on and maximum to off instead of minimum to off and maximum to on even saying that gives me freaking headache so now 
that is how I reversed the switch. Yeah, Why can't yeah, there just be a reverse the switch function? I mean, seriously. That would make lots of sense and it would be much easier. Is this even on up there? Why isn't this on up there? Um, maybe you turned it off? I think I might have turned it off. I don't know. Oh, that's also a bit frustrating. Yeah, whatever. Okay, <laughs> oh we, we continue. We continue. We have more. We ha Yeah, we have more stuff for you. Seriously. Okay. We have switched right now. See, this is switching the channel to clean. Here we go. This is one, we're distorted. Two, we're clean with reverb. Three. Yeah. We're switching clean. off the reverb, we're clean. But on three, I have the chance to use my bank up switch to go back and forth between the two channels. Now, one of the gripes I have with this box is that while I'm on three, I have no way to know that on my bank up switch is a special function. So I would really like LED rings uh, like the Line 6 Helix has around these buttons so that I can program myself a state of saying, hey, look, something is behind this thing. Wouldn't that make a lot more sense? It would. So please write your emails to boss right now. If we all bug them about this, the next version will have that, which of course you're going to have to buy. <laughs> Yay! So now onto the complicated issue. Yay! <laughs> I know what's but going on. I'm sorry. Recording? No, I know what's going on. Today is a little bit chaotic. I think the cart was full. That's amazing. Wow. So, yeah, awesome. We are l working here, so I'm sorry. Uh, Professionals. You, yeah, you might have had not all the... Inf uh, this was enough for now. But now the important thing is we're going to switch the amp to clean. Here. Reverb off. We're going to work with number four. So, forget about one, two, three, because we've messed them up. So we're going to work with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, as I said, the descent can be controlled with a dual foot switch that looks like so. What it does is the right one would do bypass, the left one will do a cycle through three different through. Can you say preset? Through three different presets. Presets, yes, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> now let me show you something. Or as used car salesmen are taught to tell you, let me share something with you. Because that's much less condescending and much less patronizing. Don't we all... I did uh, a training tutorials for used car salesmen, yes. Let me share something with you. That's much more... That's much less... Let me tell you something. Okay. You know what I mean? Seriously, they, th this is the language they're going to use. Okay. So, I've just... Oh, this is blinding me. Woo. Um... Now I went into the control input of the descent and with my dual foot switch I can now cycle through the presets but you can see I have to click twice to go to the next preset. I will also have to click twice to, to turn bypass on and off. So don't ask me why that is. It is definitely a function. It is. It might be uh, latch, momentary, pulse, whatever this thing is doing. It's not doing the correct thing that we need. So now let's hope that we can do the correct thing in the ES8. So the functions, the controls are on 6 and 7. So if we go on 4... Okay, we go to five and six, six and seven. No, what did I say? Five and six. This is one is five, one is six. If I go to, let's say five and I hit on. Why isn't that? You can clearly see that nothing is going. Ah, here we go. So what's happening is 
Let me do this again. Do you see how the blue light is flickering? On, off. Blue light is flickering. When the blue light is flickering on the descent, it means you've held in the switch for a longer time and saved. So I know that what the ES8 is doing is holding in the switch. It's not what we want. We want it to click. So the mode is wrong. Where do we change the mode? On edit. <laughs> edit. Play option. We navigate to 5.6 and we don't want latch. So I would say we want pulse, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong. We tried pulse, didn't do a thing. Funny enough, what did we want? Um, 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 we want it inverted. So inverted to me would mean it's simply just the other way around. But for some reason, that did it. I'm going to say right. So we're going to try that now. Five, six, five. See? On, off actually does on, off. Well, off is on and on is off. But I can live with that. It's a little bit confusing, but you can deal with it. Okay. Technically, what I would do is I would invert it. But it's already inverted. And if we do pulse, it's... Yeah, so no. That's not how to do it. So anyway, I can have this function. Now let's go to control six. Every time, follow me on this. Every time I'm sending an on or off signal, it is now going to go to the next preset. Off, uh, on, blue. Off, green, on, red. Off, blue, on, green, off, red. You get the point. So the problem with that is what? Um, that you, that, um, there's a problem. I'm sorry. I'm super <laughs> tired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. This is the, the, that's, that's the shit. That's why it's complicated. The problem with that is the following, um, the off doesn't mean a certain preset and on doesn't mean a certain preset. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's just do this. On four, I'm going to go. On, right, right, right. On five, I'm going to go off. And on six, I'm going to go off as well. Okay. So right now, I have three presets. On, off, off. And I will go and happily click. Oh, I want my reverb. Now it switches to red. Okay. I'm going to go five. It turns off. I'm going to go six. Nothing happens. Five, six. Nothing happens because both of them are off. I go back to four. Now I'm on green. But did, wasn't it just red on four? That's really confusing. So I go back to five. Now it's red. I go back to four and I want a specific color. Now it's going to be blue. So two states of triggers with three states of presets is not going to work. There isn't a way to program the ES8 to go to one of the three presets with one of your patches or presets unless there is then please ex tell us how because we can't think of it so we came up with a workaround which is on preset number four we're going to engage the reverb so what you're going to have to do is on the same uh, switch number we're simply going to also uh, create a toggle on off for control six so that when you're live, you're stepping on four, that's your reverb, but you're on the wrong color, you just go click, click, and you step on it a few more times to get the right color preset. Um, because while you're on four, you're not going to use four for anything else, so we'll use the same thing, and your foot is already on it. Um, we're going to try that. Obviously, there is a way you could just, before you write this, use the descent not in a loop, but behind the ES8 and just switch it off remotely. So you wouldn't have to waste the loop on it because it has a remote switch for on off, as we can clearly see here, number five. Okay, that turns it on and off. So yes, that is a switching function you could use and ha actually have it not in a loop, but completely separate. 
kind of cool. We're not going to go there. You've just seen it. So let's see how we can... Uh, okay, uh, in, in, uh, six. Okay, so we want... Let's, let's say six is off. doesn't really matter whether we have it on or off for the patch because you're going to have to step on it anyway. So how do we do this? We want a control expression, a sign, right? Mm -hmm. Enter. We're going to put it on one. We're not going to take number four away from four because once you're on four anyway, it's not going to send another preset change. Enter. So we want it to be a switch. Source control. No, source is number four, right? Yeah. Number four. Toggle. Category will be external control. Control six. We're just going to go and write this. And now you can step through it any way you want. Let's do this again. If I go to five, six, everything's fine. Nothing changes. None of these changes anything other than that the amp changes back there. Okay. Well, we could, of course, make sure that the amp is going to go to clean. But we're actually already doing that because control one is off. Remember? Good. Fine. So let me walk you through this again. You hit enter. Control, expression, enter. Assign one, enter. And you're going to set it to switch on to number four. Okay. Going to be on number four because that's where you want that function. Toggle because we want it to go on, off, on, off, on, off to cycle through the presets. Eh. We want it to go external control out of control six, which is what we're controlling there. And that's it. Now, let's, for fun, do an assign two on bank up. Okay. Enter. Switch on source. Oh, sorry. Source. Bank up, toggle, external control, five, which now means with bank up, we can turn the reverb on and off. The only thing we have to do is we actually have to take bank up away from the bank up switch. We have to disable the bank up function. So on the bank up switch, I enter and I simply turn it off. I don't need feedback here. I have the feedback here. So hypothetically, while I'm on five, what bank up does is it goes bank up. While I'm on four, as I step on four, I can cycle through the presets on my descent. While I hit bank up, I can turn it on and off. And I'm so glad that's happening right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. And it's actually working just like it did before. Wow. I feel I've achieved something right here. Yeah, me too, and I didn't even do anything. <laughs> <sighs> Guys on the ES8 user forum, forum something on Facebook, you are masters of what you do because you do switchy shit that I haven't even looked at that I'm afraid of, and you have boards where I go like... How long did they sit there to figure this out? I studied this shit, okay? I, I, I studied sound design. I know this thing. I've done... I have 15 loopers in the other room, okay? I mean, I'm not new to this. Wow. So, we're going to suffer with you and figure everything out and show you. Sorry that these videos are long, but... um. But... So... Next one is on how to use an external switch, which now should technically be easy because we know what we're doing. It should. Be it should. It should be easy. <laughs> no guarantee. See you in uh, about a minute.